Uh, my name is Sadan Gulwadi and uh, I basically manage the, the university program for ARM globally. And uh, we've got three speakers today, two academics and one from industry, who are going to be talking about the role of technology in engineering education. This is a many splendid topic. Now while the three speakers are going to be giving their own views and flavors on this topic, on, on what uh, the role uh, technology plays in engineering education, we just thought we'd give you some food for thought uh, on the side so as to be able to get you up and going in, in a sense to sort of set the stage for this whole workshop. So first and foremost, uh, it's, it's about pedagogy and it's not just pedagogy from the point of view of how a particular course in engineering is taught, but it's also about how the, the curriculum can be structured, what its outcomes are, uh, and so on. So it's, it's a whole slew of things that have to do with pedagogy, not just the teaching part alone. And so from that perspective, when you look at the things that I've listed here, it gives you a sense of where we are going. So for example, uh, one of the things you could do is design with the use of uh, technology, design a broad-based curriculum that spans across engineering disciplines, many en engineering disciplines, that sort of gives people a, a sense of um, uh, the skills required to, to sort of uh, go forward in, in their careers while they're still students. Also, it allows them to understand cross-disciplinary challenges and issues and so on. Also, it helps them develop soft, soft skills in terms of how they interact with people from across groups and so on. Then it also enables students, in a sense, to, to learn at their own pace. For example, technology today, its widespread use has made it very inexpensive. What it means is that uh, today students can avail of hardware or technology, in a sense, 24-7, which means they can take the learning beyond the classroom, make it available to themselves outside of the classroom or the lab setting which means they can really do things at their own pace and on their own time. Another thing would be using technology to bring out concepts in engineering education more effectively. So what we're saying is the technology is, is not necessarily the focus of the teaching, but it's rather a teaching aid. But the focus of the teaching is really the concepts in engineering. And, and finally, if, if, if you look at what I just said, uh, adoption of curricula that keeps pace with technology. It has to do with adop adopting curricula that use technology as, as teaching aids rather than focus on technology itself, which means that you can easily move or keep pace with technological advances or changes in industry if your curriculum is not too technology focused, but uses technology only from the point of view of uh, a, a teaching aid. So with these, with these uh, things in mind as food for thought for you folks, I'm going to introduce our speakers. The first speaker of, of the day is Professor Alexander Kapla from Cambridge University Engineering and he's going to be talking about how he was able to put together a common curriculum for several engineering disciplines at Cambridge uh, University Engineering Department around the ST microelectronics uh, Cortex M7 based board. And then after him comes Christopher Broadbent. He's the marketing manager for ST microelectronics, a lead arm um, partner. And he's going to be talking about how ST microcontrol kits or development boards are, are taught or are rather used in teaching engineering in, in terms of uh, imparting transferable skills to students. And finally, we have Prof Professor John Ray from the Harriet Ward University in Edinburgh, who's going to be talking about his experiences using one of our education kits, which has to do with SOC design, system on chip design. Briefly, before we begin the sessions with our speakers, just want to talk a little bit about our education uh, offerings. So this is uh, the education kit, the flagship offering from the university program, essentially comprises a full suite of teaching materials, 
licenses, software licenses, and sample pieces of hardware from partners. And all of this is actually free for academics. Then we also have uh, a, a list of these education kits. So the education kit I talked about, it's the flagship offering. It's not just one kind. It's, it's, it's got flavors to it. It's got several kinds. So here are the 10 different core curriculum areas that we target using the education kit. Each of these core area education kits basically has, has a different set of teaching materials having to do with that core curriculum area. And also the hardware you get uh, uh, to work around is, is appropriate to that particular area. Uh, one of the things I want to highlight here is that the Efficient Embedded Systems Design Education Kit also has a companion textbook available, and that's from our sister organization, the ARM Education Media. While the ARM University program is the philanthropic unit, ARM Education Media is, is basically the, the publication side of things, which makes available additional resources for students and the wider engineering community of professionals and aspiring engineers. Okay, so for more information, visit our Education Kits website. And for the purposes of uh, the, the book, textbook, you'll have to visit the ARM Education Media website. And, and faculty or academics can request an instruction, a free instruction copy of the textbook, e-copy that is. Here's a little more about ARM Education Media. Like I said, it does companion textbooks. And the first one that we released a year and a half ago, it was one on efficient embedded systems design. Uh, authored by Professor Alex Dean, who's, who's, who's uh, pretty renowned in that particular area, especially when it comes to hands-on examples uh, and having to do with industry a lot. We also provide, as part of the uh, online resources from Arm Education Media, lecture lab, videos, interactive quizzes that have assess self-assessment capabilities, and all of this actually complements the education kit teaching materials that the professor gets free of charge, which, which in, in turn means that these online resources are for students beyond the classroom to help them cope with all of the stuff that's being taught at universities within the classroom and the lab. So with this, I'm going to hand it over to Alexander Kabla, the first speaker of the day. But the reason I, I put this slide up is to sort of bring to your notice not so much the numbers here, 125 billion ARM-based chips, sorry, ARM-based chips shipped so far. It's really to sort of impress upon you the fact that it's, it's not just ARM here in the picture, but it's, it's ARM and the ecosystem of its partners that probably form one of the largest uh, marketplaces for jobs in today's modern economy, which means that here's a, a great job marketplace for your students. And, and so that's, that's what it's really about, not so much the fact that we were able to ship 125 billion chips and so on. So just translate to a different picture from there. <laughs>